The coronavirus pandemic has had an unprecedented effect on industries around the world, including journalism. As journalists, we've been forced to adapt, like many others, to an interactive world where face-to-face -face reporting has been severely restricted. The journalism newsroom looks very different now compared to pre-pandemic, with a range of advantages and disadvantages affecting the way we work and what Bonne Cheney et al refers to as the new normal. So firstly, let me begin by highlighting some of the advantages of a COVID-19 devolved newsroom uh, instead of getting off in a, a negative foot. So firstly, it does save a lot of time. Usually you'd be required to find a suitable interviewing space to conduct your work, as well as finding a time that fits into your schedule, along with your interviewee or your interviewee schedule, so they, they could be busy. Um, so having that interactive element on Zoom uh, or Microsoft Teams means that you could there's a better chance of getting them all at a good time. So back in October 2020, I was tasked with creating a multimedia package along with a group of journalism colleagues. Now, multimedia journalism is defined by Martin Dews in his 2007 journal as a presentation of a news story package on a website using two or more media formats, such as written or spoken word, music and images. This is exactly what we were required to do as we were required to conduct an interview with three people working in the hospitality sector to hear their, their struggles and their challenges of working during a pandemic. We would extract key quotes from the interviews and integrate them into an article which would include images and sound bites uploaded to SoundCloud uh, before being uploaded to the UWS Newsroom uh, interactive website online. Angus Hyde uh, was one of the interviewees. He was a, a barman from Presswick. Nicole Robertson was a Radston Hotel barmaid. And Stephen O'Regan was a manager of Kitty O'Shea's in Glasgow, the pub. So they were all kind enough to devote their time to us. Uh, it was much easier to hear from them over Microsoft Teams instead of having to invite them onto campus as it made for a streamlined interview process. Uh, the devolved newsroom has also allowed me to enhance my computing skills and develop interactive knowledge. Uh, when I say computing skills, I don't mean, you know, the technical aspects of coding and kerning and such. I mean more just, you know, the simple things of, you know, setting interviews up and whatnot. Uh, I didn't really have a whole lot of experience. Maybe I touched on it, but this allowed me, the course allowed me to gain a, a bit of practice before I was able to jump in to these uh, interviews. So the New Look newsroom has allowed me to work from the comfort of my own home, uh, which is of course a relaxed environment, uh, which I am of course used to. Uh, it's much more informal, you don't need to go into campus, uh, which again, going back to the time element, does save you from consuming time. Uh, I took short breaks in between the multimedia task as I knew it would enhance my ability to produce the best content I possibly could. Uh, after conducting the interviews with Angus, Nicole and Stephen, I did uh, go for a, a short brief walk uh, around my town just to maybe stretch my legs and clear the head. And then when I returned to my work later uh, to actually upload this to the website, I, I felt much more refreshed and you know, ready to actually produce the work. Uh, this isn't really something that I would consider doing in uh, a normal environment, i.e. if I was on campus, I wouldn't really think to do that. And maybe I probably wouldn't produce the content as well as I could have. Uh, so it definitely helped me reflect on things in that way. The New Look Newsroom did, of course, come with its disadvantages too. The most obvious one for me was not being able to have that face-to-face -face contact with lecturers, colleagues and interviewees. I had spoken to classmates via Zoom for various tasks, but I found this okay because it was just for practice and it was able to help me familiarise myself with the interactive element early on. However, when it got down to interviewing the hospitality workers, I began to realise how important face-to-face -face interviewing actually was. Nicole Robertson was a great interviewee as she answered her questions in detail and was friendly. Though when speaking to her, it dawned on me how much I use my body language to let people know I'm inter interested and actually invested in what they are saying. 
Fatella Deepika, 2015 Journal of Soft Skills, highlights the importance of body language, noting that non-verbal communication regulates relationships and can support or even replace verbal communications in situations, as well as having the potential to tear down barriers to effective communication. The teamwork element was a challenge as well, as typically we would sit around a table and discuss specific roles and so on. However, we did have to settle for communicating through Microsoft Teams and Facebook Messenger. This would mean having to rely on a colleague answering you quite quickly so that you could get on with your work, have an issue resolved and then submit the work to the deadline. Whereas if you were on campus and you were in a room conducting work, you could simply just ask someone a question, someone a question and then they would answer it and you could get on with your work easier. So it was almost, it was all about that trust and being able to know that your colleague was there if needed, uh, even if it was interactive. I think I did as best as I could uh, in terms of the body language uh, aspect, uh, as having the occasional smile or nod uh, of the head had to suffice. The lockdowns we've endured as a means of suppressing the virus and helping the NHS have also meant we cannot go to specific locations to record cutaways for videos and instead be creative in what we could include via free to use images in Google and other relevant footage. I would have found it useful to go to Kitty O'Shea's in Glasgow or the Radston Hotel in Lark Hall, for example, and record cutaways for my footage as it would feel personal and it would have felt as if I had achieved more in reaching my goal uh, to submission. Uh, however, again, we did have to rely on Google for all of this as we are working from home. Karen Fowler Watts 2020 journal titled Reflection on the Shifting Shape of Journalism, Education in the COVID-19 Pandemic highlights how the human side of journalism has been placed under a spotlight during lockdown, with the personal and professional merging to coexist within virtual spaces. So overall, we may not have access to the full journalistic experience right now, but it could be here to stay for a while. The pandemic has forced us to adapt to a new way of working which has brought out other skills while also suppressing others.